Dear children, today we will discuss about the second application of dimensional analysis that is to check the correctness of a given physical formula or physical equation or physical relation. How do we verify? How do we know whether that formula is correct or not? For example, a formula is given to you that is V is equal to U plus LT. Without knowing the concept of this formula, we can verify, we can know whether this formula is correct or not by using dimensional analysis. You remember, if the dimensions of each term of a given physical formula are same, then the formula is dimensionally correct. Repeating again, if the dimensions dimensions of each term of a given physical formula are same, then the formula is dimensionally correct. So here important point is term. First we have to identify the terms. Let us take one example that is V is equal to U plus T. Here V is one term, U is one term, T is one term. Here A is one term, T is the other term. No. That means the terms either they are in the sum form or difference form. If they are in the product form, then they cannot be regarded as one one terms. The whole will be one term. Yeah. Again, Terms means either they are in the sum form, addition form, or difference in subtraction form, not in the product form. The whole product can be considered as a single term. Here you see V is one term, U is one term, here the whole product a T is another term. A is one term, T is another term. No. A T as a whole, it is one term. Similarly, another example I can give V square minus U square, that is 2AS. Here, V square is one term, U square is another term, 2s is another term, a is one term, s is another term, no, the whole product is one term. That means the terms of the formula, either they are in the sum, for SUM sum form, or difference form addition form or subtraction form. Why? Because two same quantities you can add. Two same quantities you can subtract. You cannot add one quantity with other different quantity. Means you can add distance with distance. You can subtract distance from distance. But 
you cannot add force with distance. You can multiply to different quantities, but you cannot add or subtract to different quantities. For example, you can multiply mass with acceleration, but you cannot add mass with acceleration. So torque, you remember, that is either they are in the sum form or in the inference form. So let us solve this formula whether that is correct or not. If the dimensions of each term are same, then the formula is dimensionally correct. So here one term is V. V, you know, it is final velocity. The dimensional formula is L1 T minus 1 U initial velocity L1 T minus 1 T is acceleration. The dimensional formula is L1 T minus 2 and T is time that is T that is L1 T minus 1. You see, the dimensions of each term are same. So the formula is dimensionally correct. Why we will write dimensionally correct, not the formula is correct? Because if it is dimensionally correct, there may be a chance for incorrect. That is one of the limitations. Because dimens, dimensional analysis or from dimensions, we cannot get any information about the numerical values. So, we will write it is dimensionally correct. But if it is dimensionally incorrect, then you can write the formula is incorrect or wrong. Because if it is dimensionally incorrect, there is no chance to be correct. You take another example. S is equal to ut plus half a t square. Here, S is one term, ut is another term, and half a t square is another term. So, S dimension, that is, it is displacement, it is L1. ut dimension, u is initial velocity, L1 t minus 1, and for time it is t. So it is L and half a t square, half is a number, it has no dimension, a acceleration L1 t minus 2 and t square that is t2 that is L1. You see all the terms have same dimension, so it is dimensionally correct. You take another example. V square minus U square is equal to 4S. V square here, one term is V square, second term U square, and the third term 4S. V square, V is final velocity square that is L1 t minus 1 whole square that is L2 t minus 2 u square L1 t minus 1 whole square that is L2 t minus 2 and 4 is 4 is a number it has no dimension L, L1 t minus 2 and S is L, that is L2, T minus 2. You see, all the dimensions are same. Means the dimensions of each term are same. So it is dimensionally correct. You see, 
v square minus u square is not 4s it is 2s the true formula is v square minus u square that is 2as but here we have taken 4as dimensionally it is found that this formula is correct but actually it is not correct it is wrong that's why we are writing it is dimensionally correct means dimensional correct means there will be a chance for incorrect because dimensional analysis cannot give any information about this numerical values now come to another question that p is equal to m a that p is momentum m is mass a is acceleration we have to verify it p momentum you know m1 l1 t minus 1 mass is equal to velocity m1 l1 t minus 1 a me for mass it is m for acceleration it is l1 t minus 2 that is m1 l1 t minus 2 you see the dimensions are not same so it is wrong don't write dimensionally incorrect or dimensionally wrong if it is dimensionally wrong it is wrong because there is no chance to be correct so now come to another question w is equal to half m v square minus half m u here these are one one terms we have to check whether this formula is correct or not w that is what m1 m2 t minus 2 half m v square half plus no dimension m m1 b l1 t minus 1 square that is m1 l2 t minus 2 and half m mu it is half as no dimension m m1 u l1 t minus 1 that is m1 l1 t minus 1 you see the dimensions of all the terms you see they are not same so this formula is wrong i will give another example p plus a by b square into b minus b is equal to r t it is a van der waals equation of state here p is pressure b is volume r is universal gas constant t is temperature find the dimensions of a and b i have told that two similar quantities can be added or can be subtracted two dissimilar quantities two different quantities cannot be added or subtracted they can be multiplied they can be divided here p is added with a by b square that means p has same dimension as that of a by b square that means a has dimension the dimension of p b square what is p pressure that is m1 l minus 1 t minus 2 v is your volume that is l3 power 2 so it is m1 here l6 here it is l minus 1 l5 
at t to the power minus 2. It is the dimensional formula of A. Now you find dimensions of B. You see B subtracted from B. That means B has same dimension that of B. That means it is L cube. So, some examples we have discussed. In the next class, we will find or we will discuss the third application of dimensional analysis. That is, to derive a new relation between various physical quantities.